trouble turning on your mower, you could have a damaged switch housing. The switch housing is located at the top of your lawnmower's handle. The switch housing contains the power switch and the switch lever that is pulled to turn the mower on. Most problems with the switch housing are the result of damage. The housing can be damaged by accidentally striking against a fence or a tree while mowing. It could also be damaged if something accidentally falls on it when it's in storage. If the housing is cracked, the switch and lever might not align properly, making it difficult to turn the mower on. Replacing the switch housing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by splitting the two halves of the switch housing. First, I'll remove the screw that holds the housing to the handle. Now I'll remove the other five screws that secure the two halves of the housing together. Now I'll split the two halves of the housing. There's a spring that attaches to the switch lever, so I want to make sure I don't lose that as I pull these apart. And I'm just going to remove the lever as well so it doesn't fall out and I lose that spring. Right there. Now I can remove the switch and the rest of the wires from the housing. Here I have one side of the new housing, and I'll start reassembling the wires into it. I'll place the switch in the opening. Now the tabs for the extension cord. and I'll tuck the wires into the slots. Now we can reassemble the housings onto the handle. I'll line up the hole in the housing with the hole in the handle that secures it. Next comes the switch lever. I line it up with this pin on the housing and I'll need to make sure that I get the spring over the edge of the housing. Now I'll take the second half of the housing, put it against the first half, and make sure that I get all of the wires out of the way so nothing gets pink. and I'll secure this with the screws. And I'll finish up by installing the screw in the nut that secured the switch assembly to the handle. The nut slides in from the top and the bolt from the bottom. 